Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we're going to continue working on part 4 of this house build. Let's get started. So in the previous video, we were able to add in most of the furniture here. We also added glass and then the sliding door, which I will provide um, on the uh, part 1 description. There will be a link so that you will be able to download this. Um, so now what we're going to do is we're going to add in or load in more families like furnitures and those kind of stuff. So go to your insert, load family, and most of the time you're in this part. You just need to go to furniture. And then here, let's go and add the table or the dining area. So let's go to tables and then here let's add in one of those CM and then let's add right here. If you select one of that, let's see if there is more or bigger size which we have. We can add this one right here. We can Turn it around by clicking on space bar. So it will rotate it 90 degrees. And then from here, we'll be able to slide it onto this side. So that we have space here uh, to, to have more storage or what whatnot. Next, um, let's add in or insert and load um let's add in some tables sorry some chairs so let's go back here and then go to seating and then let's add this chair so click open cm and then let's add it on each side like this and then let's add three here if you notice, I don't add on each of the ends because what I'm going to do is I'm going to click one and then I'm going to click on draw axis, look, or look, look for the midpoint, and then add it like that. So we can use this pick axis because we have a midpoint right here. So give me a second. Let's close this off. And we added that one so I just want to make sure that we just add one and then here I'm gonna click here and then add so that we have it and then we could you know, nudge it on the other side like that so in this way we have everything lined up like that next let's go to insert again load family go back and then let's add in another table. So go back. I don't know what I added. So the coffee table. CM. And then let's add the coffee table right about here. Select that. And then we have different kinds right here, which is bigger and smaller. What I usually do for this one, it's too big for its size. So what I do is I edit, duplicate, and I just put coffee table. And then from here, we could edit the width and the length, even the height if you want. But I'll, I'll leave it at 457. For the length, I'm going to put it at, let's put it at, 1600 and then for the width let's put this one at 700 and at least we have this one completely for its size we can edit that if you want so it's up to you what size you want to add there next let's add in a couch so load family again just go back once and then go to seating and then here we could scroll down we could add in 
this sofa corbo click open and then type in cm and then we can add right about here you can make it bigger if you want you just need to edit type duplicate you can call it whatever you want now we could just make it we could stretch it so here we have 1675 now let's change the width to 2300 and then for the depth let's put this one at 600 now it looks like that let's edit again 650 and that looks perfect for me we can even make it wider actually i'm gonna put this one at 700 and then for the width let's put this 2600 so we edit the size for the depth and the width and then let's add in the tv right here so load family go back and then we have the tv right here flat screen press open type in cm let's add it first and then here we can change the size you can even go to edit and make it bigger so it depends on you i'll just leave it like that i'm just i just want to show it like wall hang like that and then it's it's up to you if you want to change the offset from the host which is level one so let's put this one at 700 so that's good enough and then here let's add in some storage so the way i i want to add that is by um let's see here go to annotate detailed line 10 lines and then here I'm just going to have something like that here we have enough space so I could push this one so I'm pushing this one I want you to guys to refer to this so C and it's around 750 so that we have enough space here and then here, after I added a thin line, I want to add a demolish. Something like that. So shelving stair. And then again here, we have a storage. Right about here, we're going to add an else storage right here, like so. And then let's add in the same line the demolish around this one as well and then here let's go to insert load family go back here go to specialty equipment domestic mid-range and we have our washer and our dryer okay press open cm and we have our washer and our dryer we can add this one right about here i don't want the text so the label so you just need to edit type and then uncheck this show label now i'm gonna add in some detailed lines so that we can add in something like that we can move it like that so that it's even out and then we can add in the storage at the top so with this line you will be able to represent that shelving at the top so i'm just checking we can add in some lighting here so load family go back let's go to lighting architecture interior and let's add in some 
light floor light sorry this one will be good so press open cm and let's add it by turning it around usually you can conform it to whatever you want for example i usually like to add it on a door and then i press spacebar and i could fill in that it goes around the the arc of the door and then if you like the the angle you just need to pull it out like that but then again most of the time you want it to be a 45 degree so let's just add it on a 45 most of the time probably we could add in 45 on this one maybe because of the the angle there but i know there's no angle there but it's still going on the 45 so that's still good we could add it right here one here and one over right here and then here let's add in a seating so go back and then furniture seating and then let's add in so i don't know what's going on when i click it it's automatically loading itself so it's okay So something that I could add is this kind of chair. And then CM. And then do it on the 45. So we have like a bookshelf here. You can you can say like a bookshelf or, or, or a nook. So and then let's move it like that and they could read with the lap right there you can even put a computer here so it could be a table as well so something to think of then let's add in our flooring so go to architecture click on floor this is the first time we're adding a floor so let's add in a generic floor edit type duplicate i want this one to be named as floor number one and then go to edit change the thickness to 200 and then the material to a stone so go down here go down again and then click on stone choose one of this put it up and then apply and then OK. So it will be a field stone. Press OK and then OK. And then now we just need to add it on the surrounding here. So what I usually do is I'm going to add it on the interior part. And then once I have that, I could then pick online. And then here, I'm just going to go around this because the garage floor is different. And of course, the grass part is different as well. So we need to think about that. Now, what we need to do is use TR, that's trim and extend. So we're going to cut on that. We're going to cut on this. Same here. And then same there. So our floor number one is only for this interior. If you want, we could 
change the interior uh the the floor here as well so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna put in a rectangle like so delete this sl is split command split element and then tr trim and extend which is right here so now we need to add one two three more floors so that's floor number one you need to show which is the ones that giving us error let's continue why is that giving it error because there's two of that there so now it's fixed show again which one this one is not connected so tr trim and extend and then click finish and then because of that i can see that i could use tr here i could align it al there we go that's perfect now i'm gonna click on floor again edit type duplicate floor number two just change the material i want to add another stone on the or tile so let's add in ceramic tile it's already there so just replace apply okay okay and then here i'm just going to add it right about here click finish that's for for that and then let's add in a floor for the garage which is floor number three duplicate change the material something let's add in a concrete which is cast in place okay okay and then okay do a rectangle first so it's faster and then after that you can choose pick line and then connect tr trim and extend trim and extend here now it's done so we had floorings there floorings here now for the grass same idea like on floor duplicate floor number three a four edit type and then add in grass you can type grass i believe it's still here or in there so just put it up apply okay and then okay now we just need to do rectangle it's pretty straightforward we might need to push this one all the way there so I, I just need to edit that part edit this boundary and then just push this one right about there so now it's perfect and lastly what I want to do is go to insert load family Go back here, go to Entourage, and then let's add in a car. CM, and then as you can see, a Beetle car is perfect for this one. And then let's add in the garage door. Load family, go back here, let's go to doors go to residential and then let's check the garage door and then let's add this garage door press ok open um, for the doors you cannot type in cm if you type cm it will be the last one that you add because doors is under system 
So you will need to type in DR. So a wall and a door is a system family. So here we could just add it like that. We could align it here. So nudge it in place like that. So give it some space here. And then we just need to double check the height here. The height is 2100. We could double check the. So it looks perfect. I like it. And then let's just delete it. Then. So we're going to stop here for now and continue on the next video. Thank you for watching and hope you liked the video. Please hit like and subscribe. Feel free to comment down below.